Before infinite banking, our mindset cost us $500,000. My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. We teach entrepreneurs and go-getters how to own their own lifestyle through the infinite banking concept. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. So our story starts where we first got married. We checked all the boxes in order to be successful, at least what we thought needed to be checked in order to be successful, which is go to college, get a good job, get you a good 401k or retirement account, and get you some credit cards so you can build your credit. Well, yeah. after five years, we made over $500,000, but our bank account didn't reflect our success. Well, the problem was our relationship with money. The point we're trying to make here with this video is that infinite banking can be used for anyone, but it's not for everyone. Because in order to be a successful banker, you have to have the right mindset. True, so true. And the right mindset comes with identifying the difference between a scarcity and an abundance mindset. Mm -hmm. The reason why we didn't have uh, the money reflected in our account that we thought we needed is because of our scarcity mindset. I'm going to share what a scarcity mindset is and Karma is going to share with you what an abundance mindset is. So here's three things to help you identify if scarcity mindset is something that you could relate to. Tip number one, do you find yourself thinking that your circumstance or your situation is permanent? Do you accept social norms as being true? Like I need to have a 401k, I need to max out my 401k so that I can have retirement income. If 401k is the only thing you're thinking about you need for retirement, you could possibly have a scarcity mindset. Or be in trouble. Or be in trouble. <laughs> Tip number two, do you overindulge? When I mean overindulge, do you spend money that you don't necessarily have? Do you find yourself spending money on a credit card in order to buy something to make you feel good? Because being an emotional spender does not go well with being an infinite banker. Because if your emotions run your finances, you have a huge problem. Yes. Tip number three is, do you have negative self-talk? Do you find yourself saying things like, I can't, or I'm not able to learn this because, or I'm too old, or I'll never learn this new language? But, it, but, but. <laughs> right. If you find yourself telling yourself things like this, then you have negative self-talk and it does not go well with becoming your own source of financing because wealth is a mindset, period. Mm -hmm. And again, the reason why we're sharing this with you is because we find that as we're getting more exposure on YouTube and people are reaching out to us, some of the conversations that we're having is people are getting into infinite banking for the wrong reasons, mm -hmm. or they're thinking that infinite banking is gonna solve all of their problems. Right. And it will solve a lot of your problems, but you have to be in the right mindset in order for infinite banking to work for you. Yes. So we find that the people who have the most success with infinite banking are the ones who have abundant mindsets. Mm -hmm. So the three things that I'm gonna share with you to see if you have an abundant mindset is number one, are you grateful? Do you share gratitude with everything that you experience in life mm -hmm. for the roof over your head, for the people that you meet? When people share gratitude, they are respecting all of the opportunities that are coming into their, their lives and showing gratitude for them. So that's another thing just talking about positivity. The second thing is when times get tight, are you reducing or are you trying to figure out how to produce? Darius and I were totally uh, guilty of this, is when times got tight for us financially, we would cut everything. <laughs> so are you cutting the light bill? Are you cutting cable? Are you cutting Netflix? What are you doing? Um, the, the contrary, what you need to be doing is thinking about producing. So times are tight. How can I make a buck? Mm -hmm. That's those things that you need to be thinking about is instead of focusing on the negative, how can I maintain my lifestyle? And what are the things that I need to do to inject more cash flow into my life? Mm -hmm. And then the third thing is just talking about optimism. When things happen to you, are you constantly thinking about the negative or are you thinking about the positive? So if, again, if times are tight, are you thinking about the negativity in it or are you thinking about what you can learn from the opportunity? Mm -hmm. All of these points that I just made are talking about an abundant mindset. Now there's a lot of other points that could be made, but these are the things that we see off the bat. Mm -hmm. When there's that optimism, when, things, when people are talking about plans and how they're gonna make more money and how they're gonna generate more cash flow, instead of having 
having conversations of, I don't know if I can afford my premium. Mm -hmm. So those are things that we definitely want to make sure that we address with you because again, if you're worried about how you're going to pay for your premiums, how you're going to be able to sustain your infinite banking process, then this may not be the right time for you to get started with infinite banking. No, this is not the right time for you to get started with <laughs> infinite banking. <laughs> this is the opportunity for you to curb your spending, mm -hmm. understand your finances, and being able to regulate that more so that you can step into infinite banking with the right mindset and with the right projection for what you're going to bring into your banking system. Absolutely, absolutely. Because again, the, the reason why we're sharing this with you is because these are the things that we had to fix before getting into even entrepreneurship, let alone infinite banking. Mm -hmm. And we want you to come in with the right mindset and not have to go through some of the things that we did in the in the past in order to get to where we are now. Totally. So the moral of the story is if we had an abundance mindset, we would have been able to keep more money for ourselves. We were spending it, not paying ourselves first, and just didn't understand the value of the dollar. Mm -hmm. So for us, again, we're just sharing this information with you because if you approach us about infinite banking and we find that maybe you don't have the right mindset just yet, we're not gonna put you into a situation that you may not be ready to handle. So we wanna make sure that everyone gets into infinite banking for the right reasons and has a plan as far as how they're gonna pay their premiums, how they're gonna pay back the loans, and be diligent to the three rules within infinite banking. So the main thing that we want you to take away from this video is understanding what mindset do you have. If you have a scarcity mindset, that's fine. Identify with it and then try to figure out how you can bridge the gap between scarcity and abundance. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, we all want a better financial lifestyle. And the only way that you're gonna be able to do that is to curb your mentality and start thinking in ways of abundance instead of scarcity. Mm -hmm. One thing that we know is that the financial industry doesn't necessarily talk about the psychological piece of your finances and that's probably 90% of it mm -hmm. because you can always have the best intentions of budgeting and maintaining your finances but when it comes down to actual the execution piece of it if you don't have the right mindset that's going to hinder your performance right. and we don't want you to bring that into infinite banking because the whole point of this is to create a legacy for the next generation if what I said about scarcity mindset resonated with you what I want you to do is look below and download our free 52 ways to own your own lifestyle guide. What this guide helps you do is focus on opportunities instead of setbacks because what you focus on expands. Let's start thinking about different things that we have within our control to grow our financial future for the better. Well said. And if an abundance mindset resonated with you, then use the link below to apply to become our client so we can help you create your own banking system. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for watching our video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. And remember, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will. <laughs>